Two videos in one week. It has been a while. Hey Glam Fam, welcome back to my channel. You guys already know who it is. It's your girl Megan Drexel back with a, another video for you guys this week. I am going to be doing a video today using Pro Fusion. If you guys haven't seen this brand, it's available inside of Walmart and Target. I've seen it here and there at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I am so stoked for this video. Let me just tell you, it was a long time coming. I've had these palettes hoarded away in my closet for a really, really long time, and I can't believe I've held out this long on trying them, and I've held out this long with having all these palettes. Like, let me show you guys really fast. Like, I have hoarded their palettes. Like, look at this, you guys. As you guys can see, I went big. I didn't go home. I just went all out. I was so, 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 so drawn to this palette. I think that the color story is beautiful. I haven't really seen anything like this before. Anyways, enough of this rambling. Make sure that while you guys are here, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click that bell notification. That way I can annoy you guys and slide into your DMs. When I got some hot new shit online, we can hang out. Other than that, you guys, I'm sick of talking and I want to play with makeup. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. Alright, so this is my second attempt at filming a video today. I really want to get a second video out and I will not be discouraged and I will not be stopped because that is not me. And I don't know who the universe is trying to try today, but don't come for me. And um, I need to, the reason this is a second attempt is I actually got a new lens recently and I was trying to figure out like which lens is better to film with and obviously it's this one. I really like love getting you guys up close and personal and all in my face when I'm doing makeup. I think it's important to see like textures and color payoff. No, I don't have perfect skin. I don't have perfect eyelids. I, you know... I'm a, I'm a human being, okay? I went ahead, I primed my eyes using my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade 375 Latte. We're going in today with the Infatuation palette. I refuse to be stopped and I really want to love this palette. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to um, buff out any maybe creases from this concealer. This concealer actually does not crease very much at all on me and I love that. I'm going into that shade Retro which is, and I'm gonna start packing this right here. Oh my god that is so freaking pigmented in the video I just tried to film. I did not pick up this color. You guys. Oh my god. God, this is so sick. Do you guys see that color payoff? <gasps> what I'm doing is I'm just bouncing this brush through my crease. I'm literally not even dragging it. Just kind of letting the brush like form my eyeshadow shape for me. You guys, this is fucking sick. All right, now we got to blend this color out. So, I think I'm going to take that color shell. I'm buffing this over the edge. Mixing the shade Bouncy and Personal. I'm just going to go back and forth like so. I'm using, it's really cute, it's like this flat white brush, I really enjoy this. I don't, don't ask me why I'm doing this, I truly don't know, but there is the shade Disco and Go Girl. For some reason, Disco and Go Girl are just like jumping out at me and I want to put this in between those two colors. And I think I want to start like in the innermost corner. And I just want like a hue of it. I don't, I don't need like full color payoff. I 
That's what we're going to do. We're going to cut the crease. Also, you guys, I would like to point out, I have zero fallout. Like, none. Usually when you use this type of purple or even blues, like, if it falls down, it can actually enhance the discoloration underneath your eyes if you have that. I very much do have very purpley, very blue veins. That actually, they're looking... They're looking real nice today. I don't know where they went, but they could stay gone. But I have like no fallout and I'm very, I'm very, very, very shooketh. That's looking lovely, you guys. Lovely. I'm going to go into that shade Sorcery. That's a really beautiful color. Yeah, that's going to look sick. All right. Let's hope that my vision that I'm getting now comes to life. I'm going to start with a Morphe M224 brush. This is a dual fiber concealer brush. And again, I'm going into that shade Sorcery. I'm not wetting this shade. My concealer is still just a bit damp. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to switch over to another no name brand brush. It's just a very small detailed brush. I think I want to wet this one. And then I'm going to go right up to that line. Switching palettes. I'm going into the shade Ella. Oh my word. Have y'all just done seen what I did? It's very, very, very rare that I don't wet the eyeshadows before applying them to the lid. Like, I almost never not wet them. So, as you guys can see, I put on my eyeliner as well as some mascara. I'm going to go in with Pro Fusions. This is the Conceal Six Shade Concealer Palette. The shade right here, which is called Chestnut. Kind of has like that pinkier, peachier undertone, and I'm gonna actually use this to color correct. And I would normally use a brush, but I really want to warm this up with my fingers and see what it does for me first. So I'm gonna go ahead and well, that still comes out pretty white for me. Um, I don't think that is a dark enough like pinkier shade for me to color correct. I'm going to go in with the pecan shade from L'Oreal. This shade right here has just enough pink for me. Before I hit the other side, let me try color correcting using the Pro Fusion color with a brush. And I'm going to actually just <laughs> lather that up and see what it does. Well, that's a little better. Well, that's a lot better. Um, still, the shade isn't the type of shade that I like. Um, because as you guys can see, as I keep moving it, you guys can still see a shadow. Where here, we see just how opaque that is. So, I want to go around my face really fast. I've been doing my complexion very differently from what I normally do. So I'm going to just do my concealer, my highlighting, my contouring beforehand, and I'll show you guys really quickly. If you guys want like a more in-depth tutorial on um, that, I will be glad to provide you guys with a video. So I'm going to take the shade Ginger, and what I want to do is just start contouring. So I'm going to contour... This is actually the type of shade that I really, really love for contouring. It's like a darker mustard shade, and I really enjoy that. I'm going to take the other side of the concealer brush, and I'm going to dip into the shade. I'm going to mix banana and custard. I really like how bright banana is, but I don't want my under eyes to be fluorescent. And mind you guys, I am layering this particular concealer from Profusion 
over my Full Wear L'Oreal concealer. Yeah, I think if I used Banana just by itself, that would have been way too bright. Taking the same concealer brush and let's brush sponge and we're going to do this. Let's see. We're going to take a Japanesque uh, 718 brush and I'm going to stipple in this contour. I actually really like this contour shade. Typically, I do go a little bit darker, but I think this shade right here is beautiful, especially for the color that I am right now. Lately, I've loved mixing my Smashbox Studio Skin with my Infallible L'Oreal Foundation. I'm going to take this Japanesque 962 Flat Kabuki Brush, and I'm going to mix the foundation shade here on my hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stipple this all over my face. I'm going to go into this lovely powder contour palette by Profusion. looks very, very, very similar. This is the cream palette that we just used. And here is the powder. So I'm going to buff out any lines. In this really cute Japanesque. 721 little dome brush. I'm dipping into vanilla and I'm just gonna go ahead and start pushing that shade vanilla into my under eye. This isn't half bad, you guys. Like, just right off the bat, I know when I like a powder under my eyes, and this is not half bad at all. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my Japanesque 961 brush and I'm dipping into that shade beige light. The powders, you guys, aren't actually half bad. I actually am digging it. I know that they have, like, completely different highlight and contour palettes. They have a few different ones online. And then I've also seen a few different ones in store as well. What I'm doing now is I'm just grabbing my sponge. And I'm actually just dipping it into the powder. And we're going to... that up clean this up all right I just feel like I need bronzer like I need it so I'm gonna take my megastar bronzer from morphe I'm sure you guys have seen this they're enormous okay feel better there is a highlight shade right here and the name of this is opal glow Ooh. That looks, that looks freaking promising. I'm just going to take my Princeton Select Artiste brush from Michaels. We're going to dip in to Opal Glow. I feel like the safest place to try a highlighter is on the nose and chin first. So, that. I love, oh my, do you guys see that? I love, love, love this highlighter. There is something about a highlighter that is finely milled like this that literally just looks like skin. It looks like, you know, I got like that sexy summer glazed donut sweaty look going on, but like, not like I stink, sweaty smell, you know? Oh, 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 that's promising. It's looking, it's looking, real, it's looking real nice. All right, so I also got a Pro, uh, Pro Fusion blush palette. This is the blush two palette. As you guys can see, it's really pretty. I really like it. I do like a little L shape. That is actually really pretty okay so these are super pigmented <laughs> as you guys can see um don't feel like you need a lot do you see how much blush that is <laughs> i'm gonna jump off camera real quick i'm gonna throw on some eyelashes as well as do my eyebrows and then i'll be back to do a lip color because i did get a lip color from them and then 
we will talk about the hits and misses. And we're back with lashes and brows. Let's do a lip color really quick and I gotta get going. Um, all right, so this is their Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade Bear. It comes with a lip strobe, a lipstick, and a lip liner. I am a very hard woman to please when it comes to lip liner. Well, oh, that doesn't look too shabby. Actually, that looks like Spice from MAC, so let's go ahead and... I'll tell you guys right now, this really isn't my color. We're going to see what the lips like. Mm-mm. Not my color. Kind of smells like the beach, to be honest. Let's just give the gloss a go. The gloss kind of kind of brought it back for me. All right, I gotta finish under my eyes real quick. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look. The lashes that I'm wearing today, I don't think I told you guys, they're by Devious Lashes. They are some of the best and affordable eyelashes that I have come across in a super, super long time. I don't wanna keep you guys here too long so let me just kind of give you guys my final thoughts on profusion i am so 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 impressed with their eyeshadows i was so drawn to this eyeshadow palette you guys i've had this eyeshadow palette i want to say since january it took so much self-restraint from me to not crack open this palette before today's video and I'm glad that I waited because I really wanted to share the experience with you guys and I am super super impressed these palettes are so affordable they're only ten dollars and if you guys ever stumble across one you guys are intrigued I highly 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 recommend it I also recommend it for um, people that are actually starting to freelance if you guys are trying to build your kit I feel like these are some really great affordable affordable and very pigmented palettes. This is another palette by them that I did use. Even though I only used one shade from this palette, I cannot wait to create another look. I am in such a smoky eye phase right now. I know it's so different from what I have on and I cannot wait to get this palette onto my eyeballs in another video, hopefully with you guys. Uh, as for the blush palettes, I'm just going to keep it super super honest with you guys I definitely don't see myself reaching for this blush palette in particular in the future if you are in the market again as a freelancer and you're building your kit this would be a really great option I do feel like they are a bit powdery but that's just my personal opinion some people that may not bother them but it does bother me in terms for blushes and like face powders and stuff like that Moving forward, I also could probably deal without their concealer palette, but I also wanted to give an honorable mention to their highlight and contour palette. I absolutely love this highlighter, you guys. I mean, you guys saw me apply it. As you guys can see on my skin, it actually just looks so good. Like, it just like melted into my skin. It's not thick. It's not chunky. It just looks really, really great. And I'm really happy with it. I want to talk really quickly, lastly, about these lip products. Now, I don't know what this smell is. It almost kind of smells like Physician's Formula, like they're uh, bronzers. Now, let me just say this. Typically, my lips are very purple, very pigmented. I've said this numerous times in numerous videos. And I typically would not go for a color like this, but I'm actually not mad at this. I think this is a really, really, really beautiful, rosy, almost spicy-like lip combo. And I could definitely see myself wearing this lipstick and lip combination in the future with a different eyeshadow look. Maybe not necessarily this eyeshadow look. I feel like I... I don't know. Like, I feel like I need something more nude and maybe that's just a personal preference. I think lip colors are something that's very, 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 very personal. I'm really, really impressed with Profusion. I had just the best feeling about this line. Make sure that you guys are following me on Twitter and Instagram and I am so close to being to 400 subscribers once we hit 
400 you guys know I will do a giveaway for you guys and until next time glam fam I will catch you guys all in my next video bye guys